Hey guys, good morning. I hope you're all good. Welcome to the garden. Um, yeah, with all the rain, some of these guys got kind of, maybe they'll per perk up a little bit later on, but uh, they might be going under too. Um, Dendrobium loaded jesse eyes don't last maybe but about a week. So, but they certainly are beautiful. They certainly are beautiful. And this guy is just cranking the blooms and the fragrance this morning, so it's just absolutely wonderful. But anyway, I'm starving. I'm going to make breakfast. We're having chorizo, potato, and egg tacos this morning. So, and you're more than welcome to join me while I cook. So, and then I'm going to pig out. I'm hungry. And my neck still hurts, yes, but at least I got rid of the migraine yesterday, so... Anywho, let's get to cooking. I'm going to open this up and start browning that off. And I will be back. Okay, so I'm browning off all this chorizo. It'll take a minute. And, uh, you know, while that's doing that, doing its thing, we'll go look at some blooms coming around. I'm, of course, going to give this a little stir around and break it up a bit. So, alrighty, I will be back with some orchid blooms. Okay, so I did add a couple tablespoons of butter into that. Uh, well, about a tablespoon and a half because I'm putting potatoes and onions in there. And uh, uh, normally my experience with this uh, chorizo doesn't get a lot of oil or anything coming off of it. Normally I do just use the chorizo depending on the brand um, with whatever it is, you know, with all the oil and stuff. But this usually... This brand, the uh, La Banderita brand, doesn't usually get a lot of oil. So anyway, we're going to continue this and go look at some blooms. Turn that down, actually. Okay, so Van de Hoken Ng is just cranking. This has been in good uh, bloom for about almost a month now. And the other spike is starting. Um, these will start developing here too soon. Um, that's a new one. Um, what is that? Uh, Vanda Luvelii, um, crossed with Moats Ruby Pixie. Small blooms, but uh, it's supposed to be one heck of a bloomer. And of course, the ever so fragrant Sidera Japonicas are cranking out. And in the back there, I know it's hard to see, but uh, yeah, the Paphia Petalum Hainaldianum. And we are getting another spike in the Moats Green Goblin. They're about done blooming on the old spikes but it's getting another spike so that's really cool and how's about that the Sologeny Pangerata with breakfast tacos huh they're opening up we'll take a look at that a little bit later too and we've been redefining some of the planting borders around the houses and uh, yeah we got this one. We didn't do it all the way back because we have to uh, paint where the paint has peeled off the wall here. But, uh, yeah, we chose uh, Pentas and um, uh, the Epidendrum radicans in this bed. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. We think they look nice. Alrighty, let's go check that chorizo. And we'll stop and say hello to the uh, denium. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we got a good brown on that chorizo now. And now I'm going to add uh, some onions and fresh garlic into it, if I can focus. Um, this also has a little bit of extra cumin and some black pepper in with it. So we're going to go ahead and dump that in. Okay, we got the onions and the cumin, the garlic, and the black pepper in there. I'm just going to put the lid on it and let those cook a bit for a few minutes until those uh, onions turn translucent and soften. And we'll come back with the potatoes. And then we'll wonk some eggs into that. Uh, so yesterday was quite a day. I had a migraine from hell. But before the migraine kicked in. I did actually get a couple of phalaenopsis done here. That's the Amboinensis. And uh, my fail Ludmaniana. I'll put some pics up of these guys for you. I did manage to get that done yesterday. So 
Um, and yesterday wasn't a total loss, and I was supposed to have posted a video, but I accidentally deleted that too. Oh boy, yeah, I was having a rough time yesterday. It just wasn't fun. And uh, once that uh, migraine kicked in, it was like, okay, just forget everything. You know, just forget it. I, I just went right back to bed. And that's exactly where I stayed yesterday, so. But anyway, um, I'm going to give that a whirl around, or stir. And I'll be back. Alrighty, let's add the potatoes in. That's about three potatoes, uh peeled, cubed, and uh, I soaked the russets, and I soaked them in a little bit of cold water, drained them to remove some of that starch that's in them, and also I put about a half a teaspoon of salt on those because, well, they're potatoes, they need help, okay? I'm going to go ahead and add these in, and I left a little bit of the water in too, so, hold on, I got to use my hand. So now I'm going to stir these guys to uh, coat them in all that wonderful um, stuff from the chorizo. It would help if I actually get it in frame. One-handed cooking is kind of hard as totting an orchid up with one hand. That's it, Todd. Throw it all over the table. Uh, hold on guys, I'm dropping my camera. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that wasn't too bad for you guys. I know I give you a spin around there. Alright. Lid on in about 15 minutes and I'm going to go whop up some eggs and we'll knock those in. See you in about 15. And we're almost getting there, so um, yeah, I gave it a stir around, and I got my eggs ready to go in. I'm putting eight eggs into this, and uh, for myself, I usually like this with pickled jalapenos and a lot of hot sauce um, and queso fresco. So anyway, I'm going to put the lid back on, let it continue steaming, and we'll be back. Okay, let's see how these potatoes are faring. Uh, steamy. Oh yeah, they're starting to break. Okay, we're going to go get the eggs and in with the eggs. Uh, huevos. And we'll give that a stir around. Okay, that's kind of the unattractive part, so we're going to put the lid on, and it's on low, and we're just going to let those eggs steam with all that chorizo, potatoes, onions, garlic, and seasonings. And we'll go take a look around. Okay, so Big Mama here should be having a good bloom this season, maybe. We'll see. I'm going to start hitting her with a lot of nutrients here. And, uh, oh, the blooms are winding down on this guy. We're at the orchid tree now. So yeah, that's the uh, Brassia Happy Face Spider. Got a new growth on that uh, Aclandii by Bi uh, Bicolor. So, and as you can see, um, the Den Nester is cranking out. There's a little uh, Dendrobium Anosmum Cakey. These guys are shipping out roots like no tomorrow. That's the Acinata Chrysantha. I haven't seen any bloom spikes yet on this, the Epidendrum Stamfordianum. I want to get a variety of Rosia, if I can find one. And I don't see any new growth on the Stanhopia Tigrina, but hopefully it should. And the Miltonia here should start popping out spikes, which takes forever for them to develop. Got some blooms coming on Vanda... Uh, Cindy Banks. There's a Bulbo Phalaenopsis and BC Mykai right behind her. So, and Stanhopia acidensis. It should start uh, up in here. I think I'm going to have to give that a little bit more feed. 
um, on this one here. So I know it's kind of hard to see up in there. Alrighty, let's go check our eggs and potatoes. All right, guys, it's ready to eat, and the flies are buzzing. Let me put the lid on it, and I'm going to go chill out, eat breakfast, have a try and have a better day than I did yesterday, and we'll take a look around it. One last look at the blooms. Here's the uh, dendrobium discolor that's winding down, kind of. Um, that's getting a repot soon. Uh, Chysis bractescens, some of those blooms are going bye-bye also. Won't last too long, but... Uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for joining me. Love and peace. Keep it growing. And, uh, well, if you're hungry, I wish I could share it. I'd give you a taco or two. But, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Just like there's no smell-o-vision, because you guys would be starving right about now. I love the way the light hits these uh, bandas. So, All right, guys, we'll see you on the flip side. I'm going to go pig out. Love and peace. Bye-bye.